Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl, and Miss Kalu is right over there doing what she does best. It is a rainy, cold, well, it's not really cold because I do have my window open, which now I'm noticing that we might get some traffic noise, so hopefully it won't get too bad. Um, it's still pretty early here on the East Coast, so hopefully um, I can get through this video because I don't want to be rude, get up, walk away, close the window. But it is raining outside today, so it's kind of like me. So I'm doing some stuff on the inside today. I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or any of those, you'll notice that I put up a couple sneak peeks of a few treats that I found that I'm really excited to share. Um, but before I get into all of those, <clears throat> I'm going to get into what I already have right here. So hope everyone is doing well. And yeah, let's rock and roll. Okay, so these are repeats for me, which are the Solar Steak Lights, the Flamingo, which is just absolutely adorable. These things are flying out the doors. And then here is your pineapple. Now, for those of you that do not know the size of these from top to bottom, you might as well say they're 12 inches because they're basically right there. Here's your solar panel. Here is your tag to pull out to activate. These are super cute lit up. Now here's your front side. Look at the detail in those guys. They're so adorable. They really are. And then here's a better close up of the pineapple. Okay, so that, like I said, was a repeat purchase. Also, I found another one of these lock stars that I didn't have. I had, I believe, eight or nine different ones, and this one I did not have, so I picked up that one. I'm not sure exactly how many are out there. I really don't know. Um, I didn't know anything about them until I did a little research, and I spoke to a few people, and this is just another hot item out there right now. So this one I grabbed. I picked up some more of these napkins. Um, how many of these do you get in here? No, it doesn't say how many napkins are in here, which is very odd. But I absolutely love this pattern. I think this is just such a cool, pretty pattern. Not just because Easter time, but just for spring because it has all those colors in there. So I grabbed two more packages because I usually keep napkins out on my counter. So I like to have something that's not necessarily the holiday, but it, this could be for Easter or it could be for just spring. You have itchies? Okay, you're sitting on my stuff. Excuse me. Thank you so much. I did run into a washi tape. Well, I didn't run into it. It ran into me, literally. Um, as I was rounding the corner down by, like, the school section, my cart got caught on, a, you know, the strips they hang. And sometimes they're sticking out, and the cart got caught, and the whole thing started coming with me. I was like, oh, I really? Um, but I did happen to see this new washi tape. Anyways, it's new for me in my area, which is black on the background and then it has all these owls so I thought that was pretty cool because having the black there really makes this one pop out so I thought that was pretty neat so there was a reason why I tore half the end cap off the store was a mess I almost walked out I was getting really pissy okay then <laughs> Kalua is literally laying on my stuff excuse me all right I picked up some more of the gift sacks now, these are about the size of an actual lunch bag, uh, the brown bags. Basically, you get 10 in a package. You guys know my pink and purple, how much I love those colors. If they had black, I would have got black. I've never seen black. These are, I'm trying to see if there's a measurement, because these are just a tad smaller than an average lunch bag. So, these are 9.5 inches by 4.5 by two and a half. They're a nice size to put little treats in for parties. When I'm doing friend mail, um, sometimes I'll put sweets or something in here. I'll fold it over. I'll put a message or put a clip through here. You know, just little things to kind of make that friend mail pop. So I did purchase the one in, and it's really pretty. I mean, it basically is like the color of my walls for the most part. It's a really pretty lavender. This one you get 10 in a package, found it down the party section. Grabbed one in the same thing, but just in a pink. Again, you can use those for anything. 
When giving little treats, again, I could just throw it in a Ziploc baggie, but for that, a little ribbon around it, and it's just, everything is about presentation. I know I blab that a lot, but it's really, really true. Okay, some new magnet list pads. These are by Jot. This one here is four inches by eight inches. You get 60 sheets. This does have the magnet on the back, but it has just that single strip magnet, not that real big one. This one says shine on. It's done with a nice pink. I might be coming off more purple because of the light. Then it's got all these little hearts. Actually, I got two of those because one is for friend mail. I found another one, same size, again by Jot. This one has the smaller strip again. And you don't have to put them, just because it has a magnet, sometimes I'll just pop the magnets off and just use it as a pad on my desk. You don't have to use it as a magnet if you don't want to. This one says, life is an adventure, and it has the llama. And then the white lines. And then this little design right here, just bloop, bloop, which is pretty cool. And last but not least, again, these are all 50 sheets. Well, at least this one says 50 sheets. This one has a weird magnet. It's got like two strips, which I'm not sure they all looked like that. I don't know. As long as it works, that's the most important thing. This one has 50 sheets. This one is done all in white, but with like different shades of lavender. It says dream big on the top. And then it's got these, which to me look like gemstones before they've been cut or crystal shards kind of. So that's it for paper. I needed to pick up some more labels um, because I'm just like out of labels lately. So I needed to pick up some packing stuff. So I did pick up the 20 count package of the Jot shipping labels. These are four by six. They're all in white and they're pretty big labels, but great, you know, for sending packages for just all kinds of stuff. Arts and crafts. Hardly ever see the Jot in the 20 count in those big sizes like that. I usually see them in the half sizes, so this was nice to have a full set like that. Also by Jot, I picked up two of the poster letters, and I found them in the pink and in the purple, which I was really pleased. I never find them in those colors. I did pick up two packages. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going with it or what I'm doing, but you get 52 pieces. There's two of each letter, and they're two and a half by two and a half for size. So something else cool, like if you're doing arts and crafts with kids at home, or you want to put your name on something, or make a name or something, just cutesy stuff. Okay, for us that are still in this phase of our lives, um, they have these. These you get three in a package. They're the regular ones, but they also have on here a dollar coupon inside that doesn't expire till June 30th. Hey, that's my birthday of 2019. So basically you're paying a dollar for it at the dollar store. Then you're getting a dollar coupon inside. So you're really, if you use these or this brand, take that buck and put it towards that. So I grabbed two because they're small and compact and Things happen, you never know. <laughs> I'd rather be prepared than not be prepared. We've all been there and done that one. Irish Spring Soap. Normally at the Dollar Tree, you get your bars of soap and they are two in a package or one in a package. Rarely they get three in a package, but when they do, if you can get three full-size bars of soap for a buck, let's. there's no math to be done. This one I've never seen or even heard about. This is Irish Spring, there's three bars, and it says Pure Fresh with Charcoal. I'm curious, here's what the packaging looks like, but I'm really curious if the bars themselves, are they gonna be green like the green Irish Spring is, or are they gonna be black in color? Well, I can tell you right away, I just opened the package and got a, a total whiff. Where's the Irish Spring dude? Holy cow. That is very powerful. Um, this is a 3.7 ounce. Let me open it up to the other side. Woof, that's very strong. And I, my nose is good, but 
Okay, so it's the same size and shape as an average bar. It has that curve if you, you know, get Irish Spring. It is not green like it normally is. To be honest with you, it's gray. And you can see the little sprinkles in there. So it's gray. It's got a wonderful smell, but it's very, what's the word I'm looking for? Pungent? <laughs> it's pungent. And it's like, woo, hits you right in the face. I'm still smelling it. So, yeah. But Irish Spring, I think, just in general, is kind of a strong soap. So, don't, you know, go crazy worrying about it. Because if you like it, Irish Spring to begin with, you're going to like that. Wow, it's really strong smelling. I have my window open, too. I've been hearing... Um, Last night I was out in the backyard and the night before and I've been already hearing the peepers, which to me I love to hear the peepers because to me that's the first sign of spring. But we're not anywhere out of the weather yet, so I'm, you know, taking it easy. The shovels are still outside the door. I did pick up two more of these candles and the reason why, these are the old Williamsburg and this is the fresh cut lilac one. I really wish I had smell-o-vision. Now, as soon as I stick this up my nose... <laughs> It takes away the Irish Spring. It's starting to fade out now. It's just, I think, from opening the package and then opening a bar, kind of all blew up in my face. I had one of these lit in my bathroom the other night, and my bathroom's pretty small, really. It's not anything big or gargantuan. And the door was open, and I had this lit, and I could smell it throughout the house. So I was very pleased with the throw on this one. Again, this is the fresh lilac, the fresh cut lilac. So I did grab a couple. Um, the, they just smell really good, in my opinion. I found one other candle. This one is an Old Williamsburg, and this one is Guava Coconut. I gotta tell you, <laughs> the Guava is so here on this one as well. I really, I just love the smell of melons, like honeydew and cantaloupe when it's fresh. That's exactly where this takes you. I mean, it makes me want to have a margarita, too. Um, this one happens to be in the one with the tin on the top, where the other ones are like this. So here's your difference between your two candles. Both by the same people, but just in a different form. Both with absolutely lovely smells. Absolutely lovely. Okay, couple little munchies. Nothing crazy. This is one of my favorite candy bars that has been since I was a kid. So I saw this and took a grab of this. I haven't had it for a while now. For those of you that have never had it, it's basically Rice Krispies covered in chocolate with caramel in the middle. And oh, they're just yummy in the tummy. These have an expiration date of January of 2020. Yeah, they'd be lucky to make it through till tonight. Um, the next little munchy item is Mrs. Fields Cookies. Now, they had these out um, probably about six months ago, but they were in the chocolate chip. These are in the oatmeal raisin. Now, this package, you get three individually wrapped. I'm going to take them out and show them to you for those of you that have never seen them. This has an expiration date of February 29th of 2020, so you've got a good date on there. Again, they're all individually wrapped, so therefore, if you want to eat one or just put one in your purse, you can do so. There's what they look like. And to show you the size of the cookie, I can tell you it's not going to be that big. Okay. Eh, it's pretty decent size, I guess. It's about the size of an average cookie. Smells yummy. Now Kahlua's like, oof. She must have smelled the cookie. Okay, so let me stick this away really quickly because I do have some more things I want to share with you all. Alrighty, now, I put up some teaser pictures last night. So, dun, 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 dun. I was so psyched when I walked in the door and saw these. I was like, no way. Made my day. It put a smile on my face and it just made me very happy. So, I am going to share with you a few treats. This is, sorry Kalua. <laughs> she's like, well, I just put a big bag of toys on her. Um, this is Shirley. Shirley is a strawberry. Strawberry love is good for you. Strawberry love enough for two. This is by Plush Expressions. And how cute is that? Ah! 
Look at the eyes and the eyelashes and the lips. It's absolutely adorable. And there goes Kalu. Somebody's over, so she'll stop in a few minutes. Kalu, it's okay. So this measures 10 inches. This is a perfect time for Rizzo to come out, right? So this measures 10 inches by 10 inches. So this is not small in any means. Klua, it's okay. Now she's looking at herself and barking. So here is a strawberry. Look at that face. Is that adorable? And then here is the backside. It's very plush. Super, super cute. Next, Klua, it's okay, honey, is Mr. Taco. Oh my God, look at this. It's a taco. Now this measures, see this is a perfect time for Rizzo because you want to know what size this stuff is, right? This one is about 13 and a half inches long by six inches in height. Isn't that adorable? Super plush. Here it is. Here's the back side. Isn't that cute? Next is... I'm pretty sure I think I know what this is. I think it's a hot dog with mustard, and I love mustard on my hot dog. No ketchup on this girl's hot dog. I'm a Chicago girl. This one says, Wendell, what's long and round and fits in a bun, that's right, it's me, your party starting fun. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> moving along. It's a hot dog. So you can see the, the mustard. And there it is. There's the backside. Kalua, it's okay. Come on up here by mom. This is, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Somebody's here, so she's like a little bit excitable right now. Um, <laughs> this is 12 inches long. And it's a hot dog. It's pink. <laughs> and there's the backside. Oh, this is going to end up in the bloopers, I'm telling you. All right, come up here by Mommy. Everything's fine. The next one is a slice of pizza. Hello, hello, hello. This one here is called Lisa. A slice like me you'll never regret. We'll have some fun you'll never forget. This guy here is 12 inches long. And at the widest part, like where the crust is, is 11 inches so it's not small i mean it takes my whole face away and then there's the back side the next one i'm thinking it's a chocolate chip cookie but i could be wrong there is the front side look at all the little polka dots this is chip so i'm thinking chocolate chip cookies cookies are so sweet i'm the number one favorite treat isn't that cute? And then there's the back side. This one is nine and a half inches all the way around. So there's that one. And then there's the back side. Again, all plush. Last but not least, and my most favorite. Are you guys ready? I know you're probably going, does she have a pineapple? Does she have a flamingo? Mm -mm. Are you ready? <gasps> Mr. Donut, oh, and it's in purple, oh. <laughs> now, this one is Ramona. What donut friend is yummy and round? This one right here that you already found. Again, this is by Plush Expressions. This one is my favorite. Nine inches all the way around. Isn't that adorable? Squishy, squishy. Look at all the sprinkles. And then there's your backside. Ah! Ah! So, hmm. I also picked up, before I end this video, these large bags. And what I'm gonna do is the first one that's gonna go in the giveaway is Miss Strawberry. Cause Miss Strawberry fits absolutely perfect in this bag. So, surprise giveaway. Woo! Hit me up down below. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you want to win Miss Strawberry here, all you need to do is put your comment down below and put Strawberry Giveaway, and you could possibly win 
Miss Strawberry. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget, if you want the strawberry, you have to put down there strawberry and giveaway so you can be included. Until next time, everyone, thank you so much for your continued support. Sorry about all the barking, <laughs> but I think the giveaway was worth the barking. Bye, everybody. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.